very happy to have Professor Brian McGuinney here with us today at the Chinese University of Hong Kong. Brian's Professor of Psychology, Modern Languages, and Computational Linguistics at Carnegie Mellon University. Since 1984, he has been Director of CHILDIS, short for Child Language Data Exchange System. Brian is also the mastermind and architect behind our Hong Kong Bilingual Child Language Corpus. Many people are very curious about the origin of the childless system. At least I am. So um, could you give us a story? Sure, I'd be happy to. Uh, actually, the uh, idea uh, began in a meeting back in uh, 1984 that was sponsored by the MacArthur Foundation. Uh, they were looking for innovative projects to fund in child development. And uh, both Catherine Snow and I were at this meeting. Uh, it was in San Diego. And we both came up with the idea at this very same time. So I, I think it was an uh, interesting coincidence. The idea was uh, that child language researchers had been doing all their work really based on using um, paper and pencil methodology, really. Uh, even goes back to Darwin, who used note cards. And at that time, in 1984, everybody was starting to use personal computers. So we, we thought, well, really, we should be putting our data in computers. And uh, I think it was very obvious to everybody that this would be a much better way of looking at child language data. So um, we requested money to uh, organize this system and to take all the data that had it was already uh, uh, transcribed and written on sometimes hand notes, but usually typewritten notes, or sometimes in computer files, and put it into the computer. Uh, and we then organized a meeting in uh, 1984 in Concord, Massachusetts, and that uh, really was the beginning of the system. We had 20 child language researchers uh, came together, and everybody was very enthusiastic, and uh, they agreed to contribute their data, and that was the beginning. Under your dynamic leadership, it has become one of the most useful, most popular resources for child language acquisition research. Um, you've spearheaded and engineered a lot of important innovations over the years. So what are some of these milestones and breakthroughs in the evolution of childless? Well, yeah, I, I think a lot of research nowadays is really being driven by uh, the actual computer. Uh, methodology and equipment down to the level of the hardware because remember back in 1984 uh, people really were not using the internet and we really people had not even started to use CD-ROMs we were using diskettes so to distribute the database we actually had to uh, put the data on diskettes and mail packages of diskettes in the mail which of course was very in fact they were even not even the little square diskettes they were the round ones uh, so a lot of the revolutions have really been technological revolutions as people got better computers, as they got uh, 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 the internet, of course, was a huge change because we could then distribute the data over the internet. Another big change really was when we could add audio and video, which I think the Chinese uh, University Bilingual Corpus really represents one of the best examples of linking together um, video data taken from young children and their parents uh, to the transcripts. And now this is becoming the norm for new projects in the area. Video gives you an even clearer idea of who was sitting where, and also it gives you the gestural expressions. Um, now, from a scientific point of view, the, the audio is very important because a lot of times people will transcribe in one way and then later on wish they had transcribed another way. Uh, the, the standards might change. If you have the audio available, you can always go back to match the original audio fact. So it's the real fact of the interaction. And, and to lose that, it was really cutting yourself away from the actual facts of child language. In terms of quality, um, I, I think that one of the problems is that we, as we 
really develop our ideas about child language, we realize there's more and more we want to transcribe, uh, particularly in the gesture area. Um, and and it's, it's impossible ever to get an accurate transcript. I mean, that is perfectly, uh, uh, you know, would, you would never change a piece of it uh, because you always can see something in an interaction. You say, well, I missed that word or that overlap wasn't quite right or I, what about that important gesture? Every time you look at an interaction, you see something a little bit more. So that's why it's important to have that original record so you can always extend and elaborate it with additional features and coding. Um, quality is continually improving, I think. Uh, we also want to improve the quality uh, so that people can make analyses. So um, there's just so much to be said about quality, and that really is our goal. Uh, but c coverage, you know, uh, density is important. For an individual child, you want to have a lot of visits. But then the other thing we need is we need lots of languages. Mm -hmm. Right now we have, I guess, 34 languages in the database. And uh, there is an overrepresentation, I think, of European languages obviously English, <laughs> Spanish, German, and we want more and more representation of uh, non-European. Asian languages are now becoming more and more uh, represented. We have more and more data on particularly Cantonese and uh, Putonghua, but Thai, Korean, and Japanese also. So those languages are really important because they're very different in structure, and language acquisition theory has to be tested against differences in structure. And, of course, the biggest test is bilingualism. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How can a child learn two different languages, such as Cantonese and English, uh, and, and still, you know, maintain uh, accurate control of both, you know? So I think that's where the Chinese university corpus is really, is really remarkable. Uh, it, it, it is really the only one that is extensively combines both a Western and a non-Western language.